Hello, algebra students. Okay, so, new topic. Today we're going to hit on the idea of variables on both sides of the equal sign. Now, a lot of times we don't see this, but it does come up a bit. Okay, so you have to know what to do. The idea is your final answer all the way at the bottom when you're done should be, in this case, our variable is k. So however it is, I want to have k equals at the end. Now you notice this here on this side is going to be a number, okay? But there's going to be no k. So k will equal 35, equal, but it won't, there won't be a k over here. My only k will be here on the left side with nothing else around it. So, I look at this problem. First thing I notice is I have a k here. And I have a k here. Here's my equal sign. So I'm going to draw a little line through that. So I know, okay, well, i got to get k on one side. Now, according to my good friend, Mr. Gill, he says, always oh, move the baby. Move the smaller one. That usually helps you out, okay? It makes things a little bit easier. It's not a 100% rule, but it's a pretty good rule. So over here, I'm going to look at this 7k, 4k. I'm almost think like combining like terms in a sense. Well, 4k, that's a positive 4. So to get rid of that, I need a negative 4k. Got to do the same over here to this. I can't put the 4k with the 2. That's not going to do anything. But they're not like terms. So what I get this now. 7 minus 4k is just 3k. 7 minus 4 is really what you're concerned about. You keep the k. So you do 7 minus 4 in your calculator. And this goes to 0. So I just bring down what I got left. Plus 2 equals negative 10. Now we're back down to a two-step equation. Okay. So step 1 was to get variables on one side. You want variables on both sides. You don't want variables on both sides. You want variables on one side. So step two, let's change colors for step two. Let's do blue. Step two, I'm going to remember, step two was addition or subtraction. Well, over here, I got to get everything away from the K. This K needs to look at the end like this K with no numbers around it. Well, the first thing I can get rid of is anything that's added or subtracted. This is added plus two. So the opposite of addition is subtraction by the same number. Got to do it to one side. You got If you do it to one side, you got to do it to the other side. Make a line. Bring it down. You have your equal sign here. 3K, you just bring down. 2 minus 2 is just 0, so goodbye. Negative 10 plus negative 2, or negative 10 minus 2, however you want to think of it. Negative 12. Step 2. Done. Step 3. Multiplication or division. Well, that's all I got here. I had 3k, which really means, remember, 3 times k equals negative 12. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by 3. I always focus on getting these numbers away from the k. Negative 12, because I have to do it on both sides, I divide that by 3. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. Or 1k or k. I could bring down my equal sign. Negative 12 divided by 3. If I'm unsure, I put it in my calculator. I'm going to do this in my head because I know this. But if you put a negative 12 divided by 3 in the calculator, negative divided by a positive, is a negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 
So my final answer, there you go. See how the K ended up being by itself. There's no numbers with the K. It's just there sitting alone. On the other side of the equal sign is where all everything else is. You want to push everything over there. Now another question might be, well, what if I did it the other way? If instead when I did this, I chose to do this. Because I said, move the baby. Okay, let me show you quick for those who are interested. So instead of moving the 4K, I'm going to move the 7K. Just a different way of doing it. It's not wrong. I'll just show you why it's harder. This goes to 0. I have 2 equals 4 minus 7 is negative 3K. That's why it's harder. Minus 10. Then I'm going to have to do addition, right? So I add 10. Add 10 here. Step 2. That's gone. 2 plus 10 is 12 equals negative 3K. Now, sometimes if this isn't a positive number, if this is a, uh, let's say, a negative K, I still have to do another division. So now I'm dealing with subtracting, I mean, dividing negative 3 on both sides. I still get the same answer, but I eliminate worrying about that negative over here. You notice they didn't have a negative with the K. Okay, sometimes they'll, they'll make you have to still deal with the negative. You don't want to deal with the negative. If you move this, you'll deal with fewer negatives. Move the baby. I'll write that up there. Move the baby. Okay, we're going to go come back. We're going to come back with one more. I'll be right back.